Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we are continuing on with AP Physics 1 questions, and these are some energy questions, or energy work-related questions, so let's take a look at what we have here. Uh, I encourage you to pause the video, try to do the problem on your own, and then come back and watch the video after you've attempted the problem. A 0.2 kilogram object moves along a straight line. The net force acting on the object varies with the object's displacement as shown on the graph above. The object starts from rest at displacement x equals 0 and time t equals 0 and is displaced at a distance of 20 meters. Determine each of the following. The acceleration of the particle and the displacement x equals 6 centimeters. What 6 centimeters, the force, the force is equal to 4 newtons. We know that's equal to ma. So it's a is equal to 4 newtons divided by its mass. What is its mass? 0.2 kilograms. So that's equal to what, 20 meters per second squared. Okay, that's A. B, the time taken for the object to be displaced the first 12 meters. Well, over this time the force is constant, so the acceleration is 20 meters per second squared. So it, because it started initially at rest, I can find the, um, the time taken. I can use this equation kinematic equation v naught t plus one half a t squared okay actually no so the initial velocity was zero so because it starts starts from rest so it's delta x is 12 meters equals one half times 20 meters per second squared times t squared so um this is 10 this is 12 divided by 10, so t squared is equal to 12 divided by 10, which is equal to 1.2. So t is equal to the square root of 1.2, which is 1.095 seconds. Okay, that's b. c, the amount of work done by the net force displacing the object the first 12 meters. Okay, force work work is force times distance it's applying a constant force times a distance of 12 meters so it's 4 newtons times 12 meters it's equal to 48 joules okay d the speed of the object at displacement x equals 12 meters okay there's two ways to do this one we could do it kinematically and i'm going to do it both ways so i could solve this by kinematics because i know it started its final velocity its initial velocity plus a t its initial velocity was zero, its acceleration was 20 meters per second squared, and t was 1.095 seconds. So its final velocity would be that 20, 21.91 meters per second. Okay, that's one way to do the problem. The other way is in energy. This work is applied at 48 joules over this time, so it would had to have um, gone into its kinetic energy, so 1 half mv squared has to equal 48 joules. So V squared is equal to 96 divided by M, which is 0.2 um, joules over kilograms. And so V would be the square root of 96 divided by 0.2. If I do that, I get 21.91 meters per second. So you could have solved this velocity either through kinematics or you could have solved it through energy. Okay, either way. The final speed of the object at displacement x equals 20 meters. Now here is a little bit trickier because if I want this final velocity, I actually have to, uh, I'm not under constant acceleration. So I can't actually use kinematics to solve this problem. So I have to use energy. Well, how much work is done during this time? Well, the amount of work is the area under the force displacement curve. Because you know how it's like force times distance? So like really, if you think about this 4 times 12, it was 48. You do the same thing if it's a non-constant force also. Technically, it's an integral, but you know this is not a calculus-based uh, physics class. So you're just going to do this area here. So the work done, the total work done from start to finish is the 48 joules that it did here, this area, plus this area, which is, this is uh, eight meters times this height, is the area of a triangle, times four newtons, times 
times one half, one half base times height, right? So that's uh, 32 times one half, that's 16. 48 plus, six, 48 plus 16 is 64 joules. That equals one half. That all that all that work done had to go into its kinetic energy because we're assuming no friction. I assume we're assuming no friction. Yeah. Um. So um. 128 by, multiplying by two, divided by m, which is 0.2 kilograms, equals v squared, and so v is equal to the square root of 128 over 0.2. 25.298 meters per second. Okay. All right. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.